Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. James 1 verse 2 to 4 Amplified I remember watching a documentary many, many years ago. I don't recall the exact details. However, the overall message really impacted me. It was about a young athlete in his early 20s who was at the peak of his long distance running career. With his body in the best condition and fitness level it has ever been in, the young man wanted to attempt an extreme endurance run. Something like a thousand miles in two weeks. That would be over a hundred kilometer each day. All I remember is that the distance he wanted to cover in this amount of time was extremely ambitious and only a handful of athletes have ever attempted a run like this in the past. He decided to get a running partner to do the run with him, to motivate him on the way. So he approached a well-seasoned runner, many years older than him. I think he was in his late 50s, who had several years of running experience behind him. The two runners started their journey, and the way I remember the documentary was that the younger runner was overconfident at times, running faster than his more senior running partner, and then slowing down again so that the older man could catch up. However, the senior runner kept going at his own pace. He didn't change his pace and he warned the young runner to pace himself as the race just started and they still had many more miles to get through. Day two and three, the same thing. The younger runner was so happy with his progress and he felt invincible, his body holding up well under all the miles and he still had energy. But after a few days, he accidentally strained a muscle. Initially he kept going, but each mile became a burden. He was no longer in high spirits. The older runner encouraged him to dig deep, to keep going. He told him about the many times that he had strained a muscle or sprained his ankle, but he always kept on going. He told the younger runner about all the many trials he went through previously, things that happened over his many years of running. He encouraged the younger runner to not give up, to put one foot in front of the other to not think about it and just keep going. The problem was that the younger runner didn't have the experience to dig deep. The young man's limited years of running experience could not emotionally prepare him for the long road ahead. See, his problem was not his body or what he was feeling at that moment, but rather that he was mentally ill prepared. He was mentally weak. His body would do whatever it taught it to do if he decided to keep going. But sadly, the young runner gave up as he felt he couldn't go on anymore. He didn't reach his dream and goal he set out to accomplish, no matter how well prepared his physical body was. See, the devil is after your mind. He knows that the best way for you to give up on any spiritual battle you are facing is if he can plant the seed of doubt and fear in your thinking. Romans 12 2b says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The younger runner would have been able to push through the pain, push through the mental hindrances if he had more running experience, something that only the seasoned runner had at that stage. Even though everything else was in place, his body technically could have kept going. His mind gave up before his body gave in. God wants us to grasp something incredible that the world doesn't know. That trials and tribulations make us stronger. It tests our faith and produces a resolve to endure tough circumstances in the future. It leads us to spiritual maturity and inner peace, something the world doesn't have. So many times Christians sometimes think that when they serve God, they should be kept from trials or tribulations. However, this is not biblical. God knows that the best way for you to grow strong in character, in faith and in stability is if you go through trials and learn whilst going through it, 
that He is there with you and that He takes care of you no matter what the outcome. Psalm 52 verse 8b says, To trust in the Lord is to live in dependence, reliance and confidence in the Lord. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help me to learn from my trials and to know that you are there with me in every storm. I may not feel it and don't always understand what I'm going through, but please help me to believe that trials make me stronger and prepare me for the journey ahead and for the calling you have for my life. I trust you and thank you that you take care of me always. Amen.